My name is Bob DeBusk and I work at Towie. I've been here for about five years now. And what I would like to show you here at Modex is uh, one of our vacuum lifts that has mobility to it, which compared to traditionally, we've always mounted our vacuum lifts on a stationary crane and it's been fixed in that one area of your plant. The benefit to this is now you're able to carry it around the plant with you without having to worry about do I have electrical drop or space for a crane. This has the battery contained right within it as well as the vacuum pump and air filter. So wherever you need to use it, you're able to pick it up with a pallet jack, a walkie rider or a forklift, take it to where you need to go. So I'm gonna walk you through it, a little bit of its safety features and kind of show you how it works and give you a rundown on it. So first off, as far as some safety features may go, when you turn it on, um, you can hit the vacuum pump start and a couple of things are gonna happen for you. There are safety legs on the bottom of it that are gonna come down and stabilize itself on the ground. If those legs don't touch the ground or can't stabilize itself, it will not turn on for you. That way you don't have any possibility of operating it or turning it on and lifting package while it's suspended in the air and having that tip hazard. Uh, safety feature number two is this arm, as you can see here, is locked into place. And that's beneficial so when you're driving around on your forklift or walkie rider, you don't have that arm swinging around and the potential of hitting a, a passerby or potentially banging into racking. So when I turn this on, those legs will come down and once they stabilize, the locking pins will release and you're able to move that arm around freely. And then from there, I will go ahead and use it for you and the whole operation of this is controlled by this orange lever. When you push down on the lever, the vacuum lift will go down and when you squeeze up on it, it goes up. It's that simple to use. So I'll pick up a box. Um, I'll kind of point out the quick disconnect feature for you so you can see how easy it is to change from one suction foot to another if you're lifting different products and have to do so. So let me go ahead and fire it up here. Okay, and now that the pump is turned on, the legs have stabilized, the arm locking pins have unlocked, I can go ahead and take off our Velcro straps that hold it in place and I can move it around very easily. And the operation is again just as simple as moving this lever up and down to move it up and down. So I'll go ahead and pick up the first box and it's very fast. Once I make contact, it creates that suction. It's ready to lift and I can squeeze that handle to lift it up. One of the good features about this particular model is there's this balance valve right on here. And with that, I just give it a little twist and it allows you to raise and lower its hover height. And it can hover wherever you set it to. So if you have a conveyor at a certain height, you want to set it to where it naturally hovers above it, you can do that or taller, shorter operators. It's a very nice feature to have. So it does move around very freely on the crane system. Just gotta move it wherever you want. And when you set it down, you just push the lever and it won't let go of the box until you're on another surface below it. And at that time, you just open the valve all the way and break your seal and you're ready to move on to your next package. It's very easy to move around. So now that I've kind of shown you a little bit about the operation of it, I can show you some of the other features. In here, we have quick disconnects. So if you have other bags or boxes or any other materials you want to pick up that might have a different suction foot, it's as simple as pulling these pins, this foot drops off, and it clicks back onto another foot. So let me put this away, and then I can show you a little bit under the hood, and you can see where the motor, the batteries, and the air filter are located. So I turn it off, you can kind of hear the pins click, maybe you can, I'm not sure. So under here, You've got your air filter, which is connected to the vacuum pump itself. And over here is your charging port. So when you want to plug it in, you just drop it in like that. It's no different than most pits that companies have where you're charging your walkie riders or any other forklifts that might have batteries that need to be charged. So it's very simple. Air filter is going to be very important to maintain to preserve the life of that vacuum pump. And that's really about all the maintenance there is to it, is taking care of that vacuum pump and occasionally replacing these rubber gaskets as they wear out. And that just kind of depends on how frequently you are using it. So I appreciate you listening to the video and learning a little bit about, more about our mobile order picker. If you'd like some more information about it, easiest way to do that is go to Towie.com. You'll have options on there where you can check out videos, some of our other, other applications, as well as a contact page where you can send in a request for more information and have somebody reach out to you directly.